away from River State, the Center for Labor Studies says the threat of no work, no pay issued to striking doctors by the federal government has no basis in law. The body also maintains that the ongoing nationwide strike by the aggrieved members of the Association of Resident Doctors is in line with the provisions of the law. Spokesman of the Center and a human rights lawyer, Femi Abori Shade, while speaking with correspondent Kuno Joe in Ibado, says threats by the government were mere products of impunity, abuse of office and insensitivity to the plight of the poor who are bearing the brunt of the strike. I think that the federal government and the state governments are really to blame for the strike of the National Association of Resident Doctors, the doctors who are organized under NARD now. This is because, on one hand, the federal government is concerned that doctors are on strike and they ought not to be because they perform an essential service. No doubt about it. The solution to the impasse between the government and the resident doctors, Abori Shadi called on the entire body of the Nigerian Medical Association to support colleagues and declare total strike, stressing that the government has failed in its responsibilities. He also called on the medical doctors to continue the strike, which is aimed at salvaging the collapsed healthcare system for the benefit of Nigerians. Medical doctors have adopted the strike option only as a last result. Therefore, within that, that context, uh, we are absolutely, unconditionally, in support of the doctor's strike. We call on them to continue to, to strike. We call on them to know that the Nigerian downtrodden people, majority of Nigerians, are behind the strike because they know